Hi, everyone. I want to show you how to add an image to your blog posts. And this method can also be used in a discussion post. You know, if we were doing a wiki, you could do it there too, but let's focus on the blog post. So here is our blog one, independence movement. I'm gonna click create blog entry. Just for the sake of this, I'm going to write about cats. Of course, cats were born independent. They don't need a movement for it, but um, I'll say cats are fun. And then I want to put an image here of a cat. So what I do first, I find my image and get it ready. So to do that, I'm going to Google, um, in this case, I Googled cats creative commons because I don't want to steal somebody's copyrighted work. If we use creative commons license things, we try to give them attribution, share the URL, what have you, but we don't have to worry about getting permission for it. So I'm going to scroll down because this little guy's adorable. So I'm choosing this cat. And now on my computer, I use the snipping tool. There are other things you can use on different computers. I have a Windows computer and in the Windows accessories, there's a snipping tool. And this is how I cut and um, you know make little screenshots of things. So I'm using my snipping tool, choosing my little kitty kit here. Look at those toes. And so what I have to do, I've got my image, I have to save it on my computer. So I'm gonna say, save as cute kitten. I save it. Now it's on my computer. So now I can go back to my blog post. I wanna put the picture in the blog post so that people can see it wherever they are. If I just try to copy and paste this image in here, it's gonna look fine to me because I'm on the computer where the image is, but unless I upload it correctly, people won't see it outside of here. It's only going to show up in my house, right? So if um, you want your classmates to see your images wherever they are, we have to upload them. And this is how we do it. We click on this little icon that looks like a goofy landscape painting. Click right on that. But what we do, we click browse my computer. I'm choosing cute kitten because that was what I named the thing. And this uploads it. We can see the little toe beans here and the little paw. I'm gonna title it cat and then describe it somehow so that if you have a visually impaired classmate, they're going to hear the description if they can't see the picture. So we're gonna say adorable kitten, adorable kitten um, reaching up. Now a tip for this to make this look good Go to this middle tab that says appearance. It's two quick and easy things to do. One for dimensions, 613 is way too big on most mobile devices. So to make this, make your image be a nice size for uh, people are using their phone, their iPad, your Chromebook, whatever you're using, you try to keep them in mind and limit things to 500. Keep the little box check that says constrained proportions. So just type in 500 and then click away. Like I'm just clicking in the white space and it automatically changes. So it's doing uh, width by height. And if, as long as that box is checked, it's gonna keep the same proportions. So your, don't, your image doesn't turn out all stretched out or squished looking. Then the other tip to make us look good, click in the border box and just type a one. What this does is put a nice dark border around your image like we have here in the sample lorem ipsum picture and it just finishes it. It makes it look a little more professional. And then we click insert and look at that. There's my kitty. Look at that tummy. And I can click post entry. And uh, there it is. Cats are fun. And there's our little precious kitty. So if you use the that, uh, little landscape icon to upload your image, it's going to look a lot better. And if you use that one border, it's going to finish it off and really make it look sharp. So I hope it helps you out.